Hi friends, Mrs. Desago here to tell you all about the lesson that we'll be doing this week. The artist that inspired this lesson for this week, her name is Elise Gravel. So let me just share with you a little bit about the artist that inspired this lesson and then take you through the steps really quickly on how to do this lesson on your own. So this artist is really unique because she loves to illustrate and create drawings and messages that inspire kindness, acceptance, and uplifting thoughts. So in this illustration that Elise Gravel made, she is communicating that all feelings are for everyone. So she's not only just writing that her message, what her message is, but she's drawing pictures to communicate her message. So you see below it says, there's no such thing as a girl feeling or a boy feeling. We can all feel angry, sad, scared, confident, proud, affectionate, brave, insecure, assertive. And you see above each word, she includes a picture or a drawing of somebody who's communicating that emotion that they're feeling. She says that all feelings are normal and human. What matters is how you express those feelings. So she is just communicating that all feelings are for everyone, no matter what you look like or who you are. And just showing that beautiful message of kindness and acceptance. So Elise Gravel is really setting up us for this lesson that is going to be all about creating our own kindness illustrations. So let me just share with you the steps for this project and then show you how Mrs. DeZago also engaged with this project. So for day one, this project says that all we want you to do is to start to think about how you have done something kind for someone or a kind message you can share. So what images, people, and words will you want to include with your kind message? So in Elise Gravel's artwork, she communicated an illustration uh, for all humans and just gave them acceptance and gave them that permission to feel any emotion and know that it is okay for you to feel sad or scared or confident or brave. That emotion is for every single human. And just knowing that and seeing that illustration, it makes you feel feel really good to see that. So she is communicating a message that is showing acceptance and kindness. So I want you to think about how you can create a drawing, an illustration, and how you can create an artwork that shows how you have, sh how you have been kind, how you have done something kind, or what is a kind message that you can share with people? So maybe it's about recycling or taking care of the planet, or maybe it's about sending someone a letter or a note, or maybe it's about how you helped to pick up something that somebody dropped the other day, or maybe it's how you checked in with someone who looked as if they were sad and you asked them if they were okay. Maybe it's you sharing something like your toys with your sibling, or maybe it's just helping out a parent or a family member when they seem like they're having a tough time. So it's up to you. You can draw a picture of somebody that you have helped, or you can just communicate an idea kind of like Elise Gravel did. So day two is when you really start to do your artwork. And each part of these lessons is only supposed to take you 20 minutes per day if you wish to spread it apart that way. We don't want you to feel like you have to do it all in one day. So don't worry about that. Day two is when you would start to draw with pencil and illustrate the characters and include what they have to say in your drawing. Day three, outline with a black marker or a Sharpie. Day four, add color and detail to your comic. And day five, upload your artwork to Google Class, to Google Classroom, Class Dojo, Flipgrid, or Padlet. And the great thing is in this PowerPoint, when you click the link, it brings you right to Google Classroom and Class Dojo. 
and it brings you to Flipgrid or Padlet. So those links are there for you, easy peasy. Uh, for grades three to five, we would love to have a written artist statement describing your artwork or any challenges or successes you faced. So I'm just gonna show you really quickly Mrs. DeZago's example of this lesson. So you can see that Mrs. DeZago started out in pencil and I love starting out my artwork in pencil because if I make a mistake, I can just erase it, okay? So I like to start in pencil to get all my ideas out there so that when I'm really ready and I'm happy with my artwork, I go in with Sharpie and I outline. So you can see that when I drew some things in, in pencil, I made some new artist decisions when I used my Sharpie. So over here, I drew a picture of all of the different ways in which you can reach out to loved ones. That was my idea that I wanted to draw and illustrate is how, different ways to reach out to loved ones during this time. So one, I said to send a text to someone to let them know you're thinking of them and showed a picture of my iPhone and me texting my mom. Two, I said to send them a handwritten letter. And I drew a picture of a little um, envelope. Three, I said video chat. And I wrote FaceTime, Zoom, and Google Meet. And then I drew pictures of those icons of those different uh, applications. And then at the bottom I said, don't forget to tell your loved ones you're thinking of them. And you can see I made an artist decision over here in pencil. I said, hmm, those texts were on the opposite side. So when I got my um, Sharpie, I decided to put this little text over to this side and just erase that. So that's what's great about using Sharpies. You can put in your final details and then erase anything you don't want. Then I added some color. So the materials I used to add color were colored pencils and chalk pastels. If I were to write a artist statement about my artwork, I would say that one of the challenges I experienced with my artwork was that the, the chalk pastels kind of made it a little smudgy when I was uh, doing my artwork. So that kind of made it look a little bit messy. And then I would say something that I really do love about my artwork is how I shaded around the edges to make the images look like they popped out. So don't forget to share your artwork when you're done because we love seeing your artwork and hearing about all of the different challenges and successes you had with your art. But I can't wait to see these kind of illustrations. And if you need Mrs. Brown or I for anything at all, please feel free to reach out to us with an email. I'll put our emails below in here too, right, right down here. So if you have any questions, you can just feel free to let us know them. All right. I hope everybody is having a beautiful day. We miss you all and hope to see you soon.